out there, all you lonely lovebirds looking for love. Well, let me tell you what, my name is Jenny Tallwatts, and I'm here on behalf of the Giant Size Team Up Network to help you find love. We've launched ourselves a brand new dating site just in time for Valentine's Day. I like to call it the caring, unintuitive, classic kosher site. Each of our shows are looking for love in all the wrong places, but I think we can help you find exactly what it is you're looking for. If you're looking for a break in the panel package, well, you won't find much of a package, but you will find an awful lot of white in there. And don't worry, you'll never need to make another decision again because they'll bully you into doing whatever they want to do anyways. Perfect for the submissive, deaf, blind type. Maybe into something a little kinkier? Maybe you should check out our Pokemon Go podcast. Yeah, Joe's married and all, but he's a Mormon, so it's cool. Also, hope you like getting dressed up, because he's really into Pokemon. I mean, really into Pokemon. And if you play your cards right, he might literally get into some Pokemon. Wink. Blazing Defender Report, Travis Jones is also happily married, but he's actually been submitted by his wife Shannon, who's tired of his bullshit. If you're looking for a big muscly man with little old baby legs like in that Deadpool 2, then look no further. You can live out all your firefighting fantasies or Thanos fantasies. Our FTH Beyond package also goes by the already pregnant package. For those looking to get into the childbearing game sooner rather than later, as in right now, we definitely recommend the FTH Beyond package. A few words from Kurt's sultry voice and boom, pregnant with triplets. And that's on the low end. Botched a D&D podcast is for those of you who are looking for a, a kind of schizophrenic drunken love where you're not quite sure who you're going to be with every night and even then you don't even know if they're going to be coherent enough to do anything you'd like to do anyways. Toy power's a little on the nose, I think, but it's for the ones looking for all kinds of little kinky experimental love. And if you could talk about old toys, that's just a bonus. And lastly, Geek Versus. This is sort of an intervention for Tony P. Henderson. Have you ever wanted to live out your Uncle Phil fantasies? Well, now here's your chance, because Tony P. Henderson is about as single as single can get and looks just like him. Mosey on up to him and do the Carlton dance, and he'll just melt right in your arms. If you'd like to look at all of our eligible or forced bachelors, head on over to www.giantsizeteamup.com. I, Jenny Tallwarts, promise you that you will find love in all of the right places. Here at the Dating for Caring, Unintuitive, Classic, Kosher site. Good luck! Wilds, a group of drunken misfits join forces to play Dungeons and Dragons. Inspired by boredom and equipped with loose morals and a questionable understanding of the rules, our heroes venture forth to explore strange new lands. So gather up your dice, your manuals, and your livers, and join us on a quest to make absolute fools of ourselves. This is Botched, a D&D podcast. <laughs> Welcome back, listeners, to this intermediary episode of Botch Podcast. Botch Podcast. We'll be doing some kind of one-off, led by our glorious friend, Austin. It's me. I'm leading this this train. I am the conductor. I am the captain. Now? And forever. Uh, I don't want to be the captain Near forever. and far. Close up again. <laughs> Sorry. Truly, madly, deeply. Austin. Oh, God. That's the name <laughs> of my autobiography. Auto-autobiography. Auto-asphyxia biography. Is that... Hello again, listeners. This is Austin, and it's Botch Podcast. And it's time for a special episode. Our story begins in the year 2032, after a mysterious virus wipes out a significant portion of the human population. Around 50%. Not actually, but it's around 50%. Uh, and... The people playing tonight will be survivors of this this plague. However, the last thing they'll have remembered is going to a hospital to try and seek refuge. Tonight, we will begin with our first player. It's Dennis. Hi, this is Dennis, and I'm playing Beauregard. I'm just a guy, like any of you. What's your job? I pick things up and put them down real good. He works at Kinko's. <laughs> it's good to see that they're still around. Do you <laughs> use a cart? No, I just pick it up. I'm very strong. Okay. Not great with the smarts, but very strong. 
And that's all I have to say about that. Excellent. Thank you, Beauregard. Moving on, we have Phil. Uh, my name is Philip, and I'll be playing Anthony Reed. Oh, okay. And who are you? I mean, that's really a question that I've been asking since the age of 12. Yeah? Are you Andy Reed's son? No. No, it's spelled differently. He's still alive, so. Um, no. Um, Andy Reed's grandson. I had a family at some point, and I uh, used to... Does this take place in America? Or we don't know that yet. You were in America. Okay. You don't have any memory at this point. But Did we socialize healthcare yet? He corporatized it. So then if I don't have any memory, how am I supposed to do like a who am I? Well, you have memory of who you are. No short term. You've got no short term at the moment. How about right, last I, week? Uh, I, I had a family at some point, and I used to be a curator at a local art museum mm-hmm. up in Maine. Oh, excellent. That's real. <clears throat> That's what he does. <laughs> okay. I Facebooked. Nice to meet you, Anthony. I also ran a oh. D and D show podcast. Yeah, went to Dragon Con. I can't. I can't remember the name <laughs> of it though. Okay, it's nice to meet you, Anthony. Are, are, we, are we done? Can I go to the next? Yeah, game? no, no, you can go. Okay. Next up on our players list is Tristan. I'll be playing Bing Deus, uh, bartender slash uh, pot dealer. So bartender. <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, I, you know, I like traveling. Yeah. For drugs. And high up places. <laughs> he travels places to see what drugs he can get and to bring home. Did you hear about that? I'm a, a kind of like a, a trip vacationist. So I've gone down South America to do ayahuasca. Uh, I went to the Southwest for peyote. Mm. Just to Maryland for Old Bay. <laughs> <laughs> I fermented Old Bay in Maryland yeah. with some fermented crab. I smoked it. Among other things. Nice. And, uh, you know, then I got the sniffles. So being that I have health care, like any good American, I went to the hospital because there was like a plague or something. Mm-hmm. I got a red alert from uh, our like 10th term president. So, <laughs> <laughs> so everyone, uh, the last thing that each of you remembers is going into a hospital or a... Uh, like whether it be urgent a field care hospital, center? urgent care center, an actual like concrete medical facility. medical facility, or just a tent with some first responders there, and then everything fades to darkness. Yeah, I've been there. You're not drunk. Well, you might have been drunk. Were you drunk? I mean, that's why I decided to go to the ER. Oh, okay. Because you were drunk. No, because I still had the sniffles and was, <laughs> was anxious even when drunk. Oh, shit. Well, that'll do <laughs> it. was it. rough. Okay. So, out of darkness, give me uh, con checks. Mm. Saves. Checks. Six. Nine. Three, six, nine? Come on, say three. Nineteen. Oh. All right. Three, six, nineteen. Got it. I got a six. He got a nine. Yeah. Well, okay. Well, Goose drank wine. <laughs> Six and nine, not great. <laughs> However, 19 is perfect. Beauregard, your eyes open. Huh? What? Where am I? You're in a glass tube. What? Tink, tink. I'm like, mm-hmm. yeah. just hitting on it. Like, you're completely naked. Well, there's my pickle. You've got some wires attached to you in various places. Where are they attached? Uh, so, like, like an EKG machine, or like there's some on your on your okay, fucking. Okay, so they're not like chest. in me. There are some wires and, and cords inside of you, but it seems like they're just monitoring things. I don't like it. Is this the Matrix? I go to pull them out. All right, give me uh, strength or Dex, I guess. How about a twenty for strength? Yeah, you rip that bad man with jamma right out. Just all right. I try and push the glass. Uh, nothing really happens when you when you push the glass, but uh, you can see a little bit. There's some condensation on your side, but it's starting to move away, or I don't know, dissipate. Dissipate. Again, dissipate. And your hearing is coming back, and you can hear an alarm blaring in the room. Okay. It's a lot of white light and a couple flashing red lights. Perception check. Go for it. Probably not. With a five, you see condensation. You are in a <laughs> in a tube that has a lot of condensation, and there is white and red lights outside, and an alarm blaring. I start yelling. Just hey, help! 
I'm in a glass tube! Can anybody hear me? And I'm just banging on the glass. As you are banging on the glass and causing a commotion in your in your tube, uh, a figure runs up to the glass and peers in. They seem humanoid. And you can hear some kind of mumbling, but it seems like the sound is a little cut between. You can try and do a perception check to try and hear sure. it. Sure. 20. All right, you hear the guy go, Oh, shit! This guy's waking up! Hey, hey, can you hear me in there? Yeah, I can hear you! How do I get out of this damn thing? I, I can't hear what you're saying, but you... This is... You're not supposed to be waking up. We can't get you... You can't get out of here. This would be very bad. Why? I... I uh, what? I don't know what you're saying. I just... I'm gonna try and reset the system. My eyes are up system. here. I, My eyes are up here, buddy. I don't... What are you... I don't know what you're saying. I'm just gonna go and try and reset the system. Give me... Give me a second. Ah! And then the figure kind of runs away. <laughs> uh, and with that... The guy runs away, and after a few seconds, probably about 30, 40 seconds, you hear a loud click, and then the lights in the pod and in the room shut off. That's not good. And uh, Bing and Anthony, you guys wake up in darkness. Mm. How hungover do I feel? <laughs> uh, con check? Con save? Con save. I got a six. Roll me a D100. Can't do 2D10. Right uh, 81. All right, so you, you're not feeling great. You drank a lot, but you did stay hydrated. Mm-hmm. Normal day? Yeah. I, I'm, it's dark. I try to sit up. Yeah. You, you sit up. There's some wires attached to you. The fuck? Did I try to plug my phone in myself? <laughs> Just, I pull the wires out? All right, strength. I got a six. Uh, Seems to be my favorite number tonight. It hurts. It doesn't do much. Ow. And as you're, as you're fiddling with the cords in you, the lights turn back on. Not the bright white ones, Oof. but the red alarm lights, and it looks Oof. like uh, the emergency lighting turns on. Well, that's at least not super bright. And the alarm starts going off again. Ow. And in each of your tubes, I mean, you hear a... Uh, and then... As the bottom seems to start raising up, and the tube itself is raising up around you to sh- have you be in the, the room itself and not tubified. Raise the tubes, bros. Thanks. I didn't know I was in a tube. Uh, do these things pop out of my arm or no? Nope. Shit. Do we know each other? No. Can we see no. each other? Can we see each other? Nope. I guess I'll take a look around me. I open my eyes. <laughs> nice. Uh, in front of you, you see a room. It looks maybe like a lab. Are oh. there... I look down at my arm as well. You got tubes and... and I'm going to rip... I'm going to try to rip Wires. Them. Okay, go for it. It's spinning. Like a top. We'll wait. We'll wait, Dyer. Worth it. A 12. <laughs> Yep, you managed to remove the wires. Yeah. Um, is there multiple tubes and uh, like glass tubes? With that roll, I'm going to say, uh, well, oh, other glass tubes? <laughs> yeah. Um, not that you can see. Now, if you peer out of your tube, because it's it's not just a glass tube. It's a glass tube in front, but it, like on the sides and back, it is a large white construction, some kind of thing, an object that like is it an egg? the tube goes into. It's not. It's egg-like, but it's not an egg. It's built by people. Mm. Yeah. And there are five tubes in this room. You can hear noise coming from two of them. I'll step out of mine. Are okay. there any other people in tubes aside from these two guys that I see? If you step out of the tube and look at the other two tubes... Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got to stop saying tube. Tube. Your tubes. Tube. Um, the other two pods, how about that? Uh, it seems there were people in it. What's in There's just an outline... You know, like a, a dirty sweat line, like when someone doesn't wash their sheets for like four months, like Connor. Yeah, but it's on the the metal and, and ceramic of the floor That's and, the, and the back of it, yeah. Slimy in there. It's mm-hmm. weird. Yellow people outline. Can I perceive what else is in this room? Mm-hmm. Like if there are 
doors, yep. other people laying someplace. Seven. I rolled a seven. There's a door. There is a door. I think. It looks like a door. Looks like There's a door. There's some desks. There are some desks. boxes with, I don't know, glass on one end. You're not sure what the, they might be computers, but <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> Computer. <laughs> Computer, good. <laughs> and you hear a commotion coming from another side door that you didn't see as it opens. The guy, a guy runs in and goes, oh, shit. That didn't work at all. You, stay away from me. You got. You got to stay away. What? What's going on? No. You got. Just come on. Just. I. Fuck. Uh. I fuck too, buddy. <laughs> I, that's not. Just. Uh, don't leave the room and don't come near me. I need to get to that door. What are we and doing get here? Through. You are gonna get back in your pod. I don't want until we fix this situation. Do you have any vodka? Uh, Twenty athletics to run up and hug him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You run up and hug him. Oh, um, you're spreading the infection. I hope so. He fails, and so go ahead. Do you have a random number generator in your phone, or would you want me to do I it? don't. Okay. <laughs> or you can figure out how to roll a D100 or D500 instead. No. You can't. <laughs> Let's see what you get. I mean, I can put Unless it. you... I think it would be easier if we did get If you take a D100 yeah. and a 6... Right, so a d6 and two d10s. Can you shut up. You can then do 448. What if you get a six? Well, then it's roll again. A roll again. You roll the d d one. Six again. Yeah, the d6 again. The one method I saw is roll a d thousand, which is three d10, but you have the first roll. Mm, that's also good. But I'll just use a number generator. I think so. Three d10 is. Uh, Beauregard, as you lovingly embrace this scared man. How are you feeling emotionally? I'm feeling confused. Yeah? Lonely. Yeah. That's why I wanted to hug him. Uh-huh. I just feel alone. Yeah. Now, would you say that you're feeling any anger? Or are you more... You're not really... You're not angry. More you're more confused. More confused. Yeah. All right. While you are confused or not angry, you get plus two intelligence. When you're angry, you lose that and get plus two strength. strength. Okay. And you feel as if your mind is being torn in two. <laughs> are you, are but you then the that Hulk? passes. And the man <laughs> screams, No! No, why would you touch me? <laughs> no, God! You look like you're good at giving hugs. And no! That's what my kid said. What? Said? Well, I can't go back to him now. Why? Are you infected? I gotta decontaminate. Maybe, maybe it's okay. Maybe I'm all right. That's <laughs> you. I sneeze at him. You sneeze at him. Yeah. He's like, oh, that's disgusting. I Nothing. Push happens. my tongue between <laughs> his lips. Yeah. No, I don't. <sighs> you know what make me feel good? What? Uh, just don't. Please don't come. I I can't risk it. Okay. I, I won't touch you if you give me. Some alcohol. I, what? I don't have any. That's as he's talking to Bing. Uh. I'm gonna get between him and the door. To okay. Exit. <laughs> I don't have any alcohol. That's. It's, I don't even know if we have. Do you have drugs? Yeah, but it's probably not the kind of drugs you're talking you're about. Fun drugs in this medical facility. This is a fentanyl. <laughs> free? No, it's a fentanyl. Everything's made of fentanyl. Yeah. <laughs> I have liquid fentanyl. I don't fentanyl. believe you. Would you say He's happens bent? if I get angry? Plus two anger. Plus two strength. Just plus two strength. Okay. Plus two anger. <laughs> plus two anger. Ooh. And the intelligence goes back to normal then? Mm. To, okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. It's called blind rage. Where you got more brains in your fists than you would do in your, in your head. But well, considering I already have an 18 strength, that would be pretty useful. Yeah. Just, just let me go. Let me, let me just go and try and... Do you, do you guys please get back in your pods? Explain what's going on. Yeah. No, if... if if you touch me, or if you touch any one of us, bad things are going to happen to you, and maybe us. I don't know. We haven't quite what figured it out yet. What are you talking about? The virus. It's changed. To I, what? I, I, I'm, just a, I'm just here to keep the power going, basically. I, I've, I've read some emails. I, I touch I, his face. Ah! With my face. I put my cheek right up to his face. As you do that, he screams again and tries and wiggles away from you. And everyone in the room, do... A wisdom check, except for Beauregard. An eight. Fourteen. Bing. 
You're just watching this ridiculousness happen as the technician and Anthony both stop what they're doing and then just look at Beauregard with the thirstiest, horniest eyes. Gross. <laughs> um, I'm going to look around the room for my stuff because I have alcohol in my stuff. Okay. Is there like a locker nearby? There are some lockers. One of them's labeled medical waste. <laughs> Watch the soundboard. It's over here. I was, I was making sure. I didn't, well, right. I didn't want to fly effect. So I investigate <laughs> with a 20. One of them says medical waste. To find drugs. One I of them is unlabeled. Okay. There's some used needles and some some gloves. Mm. Is he Bummer. just going through with his hands? Like, <laughs> yeah, some that's needles. my guess. Cautiously. Yeah. All right, what about the other one? The other one, it's got gloves. <laughs> it's got unused needles. <laughs> I'll, I grab a needle and some gloves. All right. I'll put it in my pocket. Cool. This what pocket? Stupid. You don't have I, clothes. My You're ass. Your, your, butt <laughs> <laughs> your body pocket. You are completely naked. <laughs> okay, I go back. I look back at what's going on over there. So, okay. The technician kind of uh, shakes himself out of it. He's like, I don't know what that was. But whatever change you just made to yourself was hot. <sighs> wow. I really need to go to decontamination, but... I think that's what they call good touch. Oh, God. I just... Anthony, uh, do another whiz. Do him. He's got the touch. The power. You rolled a one? Four. You rolled a four. <laughs> you, you want Beauregard. <laughs> every every inch of his body, every every <laughs> iota of his being <laughs> is just the most sensual, alluring thing you've ever seen. I don't know how long I've been here, but <laughs> you kind of remind me of my wife. That's all right. You guys look like some pretty meaty pieces of bread. Let's make a turkey sandwich. <laughs> meaty pieces of bread? <laughs> That's right. I make my bread with meat. Like meat bread. Meat bread. <laughs> bread. And I see all the slices in front of me. You have like a, keto a, bread. A bread shaped. Keto <laughs> bread. You have like a, a bread shaped cookie cutter that you just like hit and push into ham. <laughs> <laughs> and into bread. med. That sounds meat delicious. Bread. Slice I'd eat of that ass. So the technician. Uh, I just. I, I have to go. Hey, buddy. I what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm a little distracted. I just, what do you want, man? Leave and go get me a drink. Okay, fine. And he, and he, I persuade him. And he goes to to leave. He I'm walks. gonna slap my face a bit with an okay to kind of get my bearings with a seventeen. Is that the slap, or did you try and whiz out again? I tried to whiz out with, with seventeen. Like, uh, All right, yeah. Ugh. It the it fades away a little the bit. The boner like, doesn't, but the feelings do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to go to the bathroom real quick and... Uh, There's, no There's no bathroom. I don't even turn around. I just beat There's some gloves. <laughs> some, uh, I threw a glove to him. There <laughs> go. I'd like to say that's not normal, but it is. Yeah, I've been to county. It's okay. Yep. <laughs> They're called prison wives. <laughs> <laughs> so as the technician uh, is leaving the room, you see the logo on his back. And it's a, a red M with a gold and black circle around it, which... Team Rocket? No, it's not Team Rocket. Should I do a history check? Do a history check. (laughs) I got a 17. Yeah, uh, you you know that as Maycor. I've seen TV. It's the the May Corporation. They've been in charge of uh, trying to figure out a solution to the plague, as far Mm -hmm. as you know. Totally not Umbrella Corp. No, definitely not. All right. So he opens the door and goes into the hallway and runs away. Does he lock the door? Uh, I'm no. botched to run towards the door. <laughs> you botched. Oh, I hope you. I was in the doorway. I hope you don't fall on my giant erection. <laughs> <laughs> or into it. <laughs> Pull a Maria, but your penis instead of a spear. What? From the first episode of the show. Second. Third. Second. Second episode of the show. I just thought you meant for Not in real life. <laughs> He runs into the hallway, and Beauregard attempts to, to sprint after him, hey, slipping on the glove that Bing had thrown <laughs> onto the floor, <laughs> and slamming face-first into Anthony. Um, 
strength check? Or is he going to knock me down regardless? Or random table check? You run into his arm, like in his shoulder. Okay. Uh, Beauregard, you're going down. Anthony, give me a dex or a strength to try and stay up. Save or check. Check. Nope. Um, a nine. It's not great. Yeah. What are the dudes? <laughs> it's not great. So, uh, Bing, pile. you watch one dude run out of the room, and you go, oh, that's me, Corporation. Awesome. Cool. And then you see these two idiots nakedly bumbling into each other. <laughs> <laughs> After he saw me physically get attracted to him. Yeah, right? yeah. Was, Jesus. Whoa, wow. All right. I'm go oh, back now over. I've fallen inside you. <laughs> Go so back that, over to the pod. <laughs> get back in and close it. Just focus. <laughs> I don't like this. On future. your erection. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what do you guys want to do now? Well, I'm going to walk out the door. <laughs> All right. I'm I'd like those idiots up. are going to do while they're holding each other. Do you guys want to get up off the floor? I'll yes. get up. All right. I get up off the floor. floor. <clears throat> And walk out the door. Yep, All right. Same. Yeah. All right. So you're in a expansive hallway that goes for a very long way, and it looks like there's doors probably every twenty or so feet on either side. The h- hallways themselves, the walls are white, and the floors are black. Uh, ceilings black as well, but there is emergency lighting um, on the ceiling as well. About how uh, soon did we go out in the hallway from the technician? After the technician. You follow him probably about next round, <clears throat> so... Six seconds. Six seconds. Is he visible in the hallway? You you hear him, and you if you're quick enough, you, Bing, probably you see it, and it's him just scampering down the hallway. Hmm. What a scamp. <laughs> <laughs> Are there more doors down this hallway? There's tons of doors. So, yeah, like every yeah, few... Every few feet, you said. Mm-hmm. Okay. I just want to start opening doors. Well, I'm going yeah, to look into the it. first door I, I come upon. Okay, well, there's... Uh, it's just... Uh, it looks very similar to the walls, there's no way to look into the room, but there is a, uh, a button. It seems to be so one like that a thumbprint control or a nope. I hit it. Okay, the door <laughs> opens up. What's it look like in there? It's a little steamy. While he's doing that, I'm following our friend. Okay, Bing, going down the hallway. Mm-hmm. Anthony, you open the room to the steam room, and as the steam dissipates, there's some people in pods, and there's a lab technician. Who is asleep in a chair? <laughs> Spin his mouth. <laughs> Spin his mouth. <laughs> I kind of want to go. I enter and close the button behind me. Okay. Door closes. <laughs> you close the button or the door? The door. You thought it was steamy before. <laughs> Click. <laughs> Naked man with an erection walks into room. Hey. <laughs> Sees you sleeping. Closes his door. <laughs> I hear you boys like experimenting here. (laughs) He's asleep. He can't give consent. Come on. He's asleep. Does he have clothes on? Yeah. The same make or... Oh, yeah, clothes would be good. uh, Technician outfit. Is there anything in this room that I could pick up? Possibly. There's uh, some... A sleeping technician? That that would be... (laughs) A couple computers, uh, monitors, that is. It looks like the computers are actually integrated into the desks themselves. Um, there are some drawers. There's a couple clipboards. I'm not going to be able to use take the monitor as a weapon, right? It's. Why I not? mean, it's an old-fashioned tube it's a monitor. CRT, baby. <laughs> no, it's not an old-fashioned tube monitor, but it does look like a small box and has a, a glass side on one. It looks like glass. Okay. I'm going to pick that up mm-hmm. and use it as a, a weapon to... Hit him with enough force to knock him out. Okay. He's already asleep. I can't take his clothes if he's just You could just, sleeping. like, chokehold him. Yeah. He's right. asleep. Well, I, I guess I he could. He did what he said he did. Well, right. no. <laughs> However you want to do it. <laughs> this is your character. <laughs> Hit him. What do you want to do? I mean, you get advantage and you get what? Yeah. I'm going to hit him upside the head with this monitor. Okay. We'll call it a D8 because it's heavy. It's dense. Just like your are 17 to hit. Yep. Isn't it? Do you get like max damage because he's helpless or what? Sure. I just want to knock him out, so I'm not trying to yeah. kill him. Non lethal, you're just knocking him out. How much damage do you do? Nine. That's good enough. Go! <laughs> uh, I guess I should have sized him up. Does he look like he wears the same size clothes as I do? <laughs> not at all. He's four foot seven. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Similar right. size. So I'm going to. Uh, 
I'm going to take dress him. <laughs> I'm going to take his clothes. Mm-hmm. His motorcycle. <laughs> Is there an open pod in this room? <laughs> um. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to open it. <laughs> okay. And put the You're naked put the naked man in. Yep. And then close it. Then close Things it. Things don't happen okay. every time he touches him. And then I'm going to resume my position, uh-huh. sleeping at the desk. <laughs> no, <Yeah>. I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah. It's like a I'm just looking, job. I'm looking for, you know, what I think is a government job, if not a government <laughs> contract. Yeah. No, once uh, once he's in. I am the technician now. I'm a <laughs> How many times do you think you touched him? Well, I didn't touch him with the monitor. Mm-hmm. I had to touch him as I was unclothing him. Okay, we'll call that one touch. And then touch him to put him into the tube. So go ahead and write down frog eyes on your uh, sheet. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> frog eyes. <laughs> uh, just, just so you know, uh, every time you swallow now, your eyes, eyes will bulge and retract. <laughs> <laughs> Do they look like normal human eyes? They look like normal human eyes until you swallow them. They go, boop. <laughs> <laughs> and on the second touch, uh, also go ahead and write down fluted face. What? Uh, every time you sneeze, it sounds like someone's blowing through a flute. Would that include- Terribly. <laughs> <sighs> Would that include fake sneezes? Yep. Any t- well, yeah, why not? Basically, the description is your sinus passages become twisted and musical. Just like they are now in real life. I'm going to go through this desk real quick. Okay. Is there anything of importance or what I would perceive as value? Papers. Porn. Staples. A staple. Well, no, 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 but like... Wh- no. What's the... Okay. No. There's nothing of value. Are there other people in these pods? Mm-hmm. All right. I open those pods. Okay. And I leave. All right. And I close the door behind me. Okay. Cool. You're back in the hallway. Bloop. <laughs> Go bloop. I see Anthony walk out and I'm like, ah, clothes. Beauregard. Fancy boy. I'll open the next door. What's inside? Steam? Steam. Mm, steam. No pods. No pods? No. No just, people? Just steam. Just steam? Just steam. <laughs> it's nice. No, uh, it's uh, no pods, and there are two people in there. Uh, both of them have their backs turned to you, and they're on computers. We're still together, right? Yep. Okay. I sneak in all nimbly bimbly like. All right, go ahead and stealth check. Both of us? If you're both stealthing. Yeah, because he's not going to be able to take out both of them. Don't swallow. 21. Or sneeze. You sneak up behind one of them. Who's going behind who? I got a 17. I got a 17. Okay. Right or left? Right. Left. Okay. So you guys get up real close. You realize they're both wearing headphones. <laughs> they can't hear you fucking anyway. Doesn't matter. We're practicing, Beauregard. One of them looks like they're working. The other one is surfing some kind of social media. Who who do I have? You've got uh, the working one. Working one. Got it. I've got the one that's on r slash cringetopia. <laughs> I'm going to tap him on the shoulder. Mm-hmm. And when he turns around... I'm going to just grab his face and just lick from the chin to the forehead. Jesus. Okay. That's one touch. Actually, yeah, one touch. No, that's two. Two, two touch. One, one to touch him, and, and then, then the other one to lick him. Gotcha. Oh, okay. This one's going to take a little effort. Guys, we have a one in 500 chance every time we do this to become strength monsters. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Or a, f- a, a frog playing, f- a, f- a flute playing frog. I'm telling you, that's a marketable skill if you can figure it out. <laughs> My dick sneezed. Oh. <laughs> oh. Great. Oh. So, I rolled two different things. Okay. And I think I want to give you the one, because the other one is, is goggle eyes. Your eyes go to the size of melons. You get 30 feet dark vision, and you're blind in sunlight. Smeagol. Oh. You <laughs> are However, the other one is just, <laughs> it's just called breast. <laughs> I have a breast. Just the one. If you already had some, you get a spare. So one solitary mammary gland grows in your chest, and you're now the one-boobed man. <laughs> For now. For now. What? And <laughs> golem eyes or no? What cup? No we- golem eyes. No. Cup size? Uh, Roll it. Yeah. 
It's like a what? One D fifty and a A through. Let's do D six. Okay. One would be A, two sure. would be C. Sure. C. And a D hundred divided by two. For you got one. a single D cup booby. <laughs> oh, <it's big. laughs> oh no! D nice. Hanging out. You can decide if you want it in the center or on one of them. Center. All right. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> D tit center. D tit. But is it like a really nice tit? Is it like saggy? What are we talking about? I'm trying to see if this would be a. Lo- Does it raise my charisma? I feel like it might. <laughs> it's an average. An average titty. D. Okay. Average. Average so no D-tits increase. are popular. No increase. Average D-tit? It's not super saggy, and it's not standing at attention. It's a decent shape. Nothing you'll fantasize okay. about, but if you saw it in person, you'd be like, nice. yeah, it's a titty. All right. <laughs> well, okay. I, think, I'm, I'm I feel okay like I'm distract- <laughs> distracted now. Oh, Stop and the, moving your shoulders. The, <laughs> the guy that you just did this to is now just crying silently. <laughs> <laughs> Now, he touched him twice. Oh, did that count as two? Well, yeah, we were saying one to turn him tapped and then one to lick him. him. Yeah. Well, well, I didn't turn him. I tapped his shoulder. He turns. He turned, and then you grab his face and lick him. We'll count that as one. Okay. okay. I'm going to choke out. The other one? Yeah. All right. And are sneeze gonna, as I you, do it. Are you going to touch his skin at all? Yeah, well, I just want to <laughs> keep getting freakier. Awesome. Let's see. What grab. Uh-huh. Choke out. Mm-hmm. Strength. A chill. Twenty-one. Mm. Mm, so close to something you wanted. Ooh, no, it's, oh, no, it's right on the money of something I don't want. Oh no! <laughs> Fireball. Okay, uh, you choke him out. Yep. He passes out, and as you release your fin- your hands, you look down at your fingers, and each of them and en- each of the ends of your fingers are little lamprey mouths. Gross. You can eat with them. <laughs> oh, <gross>. oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> You have to taste everything you touch. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. Oh, now, listen, man. Mr. Technician Man. You can give me your clothes, or I'm putting this booby in your mouth. And starts, I've got. I've got. Just starts undressing. <laughs> I've got my uh, my hands underneath his sho- over his shoulders, <laughs> doing like snake movements and. <laughs> Still just crying, still crying, <laughs> undressing himself, and just. <laughs> Give me your clothes. Puts them on the ground in front of you. All right, and then just cries. Okay, uh, I put on the clothes. Mm-hmm. I go to turn away, and then I turn back real fast, and I spit in his face, preferably mm-hmm. his eyes. Nice. He's. I mean, his eyes are closed. He's weeping. It's fine. And he's just. Uh, I'm gonna <laughs> die. We're all gonna die. I'm gonna feed you to my fingers, boy. Oh. God. And I leave. You leave, okay. Or should we knock him out? I would have knocked him out. I'm still in there. Yeah. Yeah, you can. I got shoes on. Yeah. I'm gonna fucking. I'm gonna kick him. <laughs> okay. Kick. Make an attack. All right, tasty fingers. Crit 20. Mm. I'm gonna crank yeah. kick him. <laughs> you hit. Like Daniel's son. Yeah. He's like, he's like, oh, like oh, he won't see it coming. No! Oh, he looks up right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Yep, he looks up right as you smack him in the face. Uh, D6. Am I gonna, well, I'm gonna probably knock him out with anything. Eight plus three. Yeah, you knock him out. Ele- uh, Eleven? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Eleven damage. Crumples into a naked, tear covered, spit faced mess. You know, I never did get your name. What, what? What's your name? And through my fingers, they speak. Anthony. <laughs> Anthony. Anthony Reed. You might want to keep your hands balled up while we walk through the facility, because you got nightmares on the end of your fingers. <laughs> <laughs> and now I just keep them just suspended. <laughs> Why would I do that? Right next to my head, so you see <laughs> 11 mouths speaking at you at once. All right. I guess we can get shit weird. That's fine. So uh, we're going to cut to Bing, but before that, we're going to take a little break. Hello, listeners. This is Dennis Wurtzman, so KSD. I'm here to talk to you about the different ways that you can help support us over at Botch Podcast. Uh, as you already know, if you head on over to patreon.com slash botch podcast, you can subscribe to the show and get all kinds of stuff in return. Uh, we have levels all the way from $1 to $50, and it's all kinds of different things. Video, audio, pictures, all sorts of different shit. 
And at this point, we're well over 200 hours worth of bonus content for you guys. You can also help support us over at twitch.tv slash botchpodcast. We just got affiliated, which means you can subscribe to the show or send us bits or whatever you know you want to do. Uh, we do live shows every Saturday night. We do uh, dating sims and other crazy bullshit. You can subscribe through Amazon Prime actually for free, so it doesn't cost you anything that way. You just have to have an account on Twitch and then subscribe for free, and then Amazon will pay us on your behalf a little bit each month, so that'll be helping the show, and you don't even really have to do anything other than make a login. And also give us a follow, so that way you'll know if we go live or not. Each of the hosts here on the show actually have their own Twitch account, so Phil streams uh, Switch games over at Imaginary Nomad, Tristan streams Magic the Gathering at Comrade Kale, Austin streams Fallout 76 for some reason at Chili Dog 5, and John streams I don't know what he streams over at Dr. Frankenfurter with a three instead of an E. Or at least that's what he keeps telling me. But if you head on over to Twitch and support us, it helps us greatly, you know, keep making the, the content for you guys. As well as over on patreon.com slash botch podcast. Thank you so much for those of you who have already supported us and continue to support us. And uh, let's get back to the show. And we're back. So, before the break. We were going to follow Bing down the hallway. And that's where we are. Hi, Bing. Hey. You're following the technician. Does he know that I'm following him? Nope. He's moving very quickly. Are you running after him? Yeah. Nakedly. Mm-hmm. You pass by countless nakedly. doors. None of them seem to have any markings or designation. Mm-hmm. And uh, he gets to a large door at the end of the hallway and begins frantically putting in... A key code. Oh, I try to see what it is. Okay. 16. You happen to see what he's typing in. <gasps> 43927. All right. Sweet. Uh, I'm going to hit him over the back of the head. Just with your fist? Yeah, like Okay. double double hand clasp together. And just okay. Clunk. Uh, go ahead and make an attack. And add sneak attack damage because he doesn't know you're there. Uh, 16 take. to hit. That hits. Like a D4? Or? Yeah. Do a D4. Why not? I will deal two damage. <laughs> Fuck you, buddy. <laughs> oh, sorry. What's sneak, sneak attack? attack. Sneak plus two. I'll do four damage. Add one D6 for a sneak attack. Uh, so I, w- I will do eight damage. Hey, that's enough to knock him out. Pop! You smack him in the head. With what? With his fists. Uh, yeah, I... Like this. <laughs> a two hand fist knockout. Yeah. And now your fists are fused together. <laughs> oh, I really hope not. Because <laughs> then I can't type that key code. <laughs> nose. Do it nose, your nose yeah. and chin. Let me just. Buck, 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 buck. <laughs> it's going to be chicken. something terrible. You guys got like four touches in you and you're kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> We're monsters. It's funny because I'm texting Anthony <laughs> everything that's terrible that's happening. Who's Anthony? He's the d- DM for uh, Adventure Incorporated podcast. So yep. as you smack him across the head, uh, you bring your arms back, mm-hmm. but they kind of just kind of flop down a little longer than normal. Ooh. And you look down, your legs are the same, and it's look you look kind of like the like a Wendigo from uh, Monkey from, Man from uh, Fallout seventy six or Ooh. actually Fallout four, Far Harbor or whatever. Okay. Um, Slender Man. Normal body, really long and whip-like arms. I'm going to play basketball. Fuck yeah. <laughs> and uh, add three to your decks. Yeah. We all gain skills that can be used to make money in this world. <laughs> I'm, I'm playing basketball. Or the drum Stripper. <laughs> Whistler. <laughs> Frog Taste tester. Whistler. Just. What would you say that my uh, my wingspan is now? Uh, it's like your height. It's probably like nine feet now. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> I can dunk. <laughs> <laughs> from the three throw yeah. line. <laughs> um, and what are you going to do now? Go tree in from half court. I'm going to uh, punch in that. Well, I guess the key code is already pushed in, so mm-hmm. I'm just going to open the door. It's waiting on a hit enter. I hit enter. All right. It takes a second. I'm going to, well, after I hit enter, I'm going to be like, shit, I'm naked. Uh... I'm going to take this guy's clothes. Cool. But I'm going to try not to touch him. Do do his, like... A sleight of hand? Do touching his clothes kind of touching him? Nope. Okay. Sleight of hand. Hey, my decks just went up. Gotta be skinny. I still have that glove. No, remember I threw it. 
He took gloves. He just threw oh, one yeah, yeah. at him. So you should have one glove. I'm going to put all glove on. Okay. So that'll give me advantage? Yes. Okay. Well, the first roll was better. I got a 12. For the most part, you managed to do it all pretty well. You haven't touched him once. And the until, Up until, I was going to say, the socks that you felt for some reason you needed to take off. And, like, with the gloved hand, you got it around, but he's got, like, some corns. So you need Gross. to be like, let me just, oh, and you touch him again. <sighs> what happens to them when I touch them? Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. They don't like it. Unless they get, like, enamored with you. <laughs> I'm, right now I'm a basketball star. <laughs> I'm feeling good. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Um, you get a plus six to your charisma. <laughs> <laughs> you... Nothing seems different about you. Okay. <laughs> Good. I'm sure that means nothing. So I put on the clothes. Yeah. Everything's fine. Doesn't really fit your arms and legs yeah. anymore. <laughs> but, <laughs> you're a fucking but it's, monster. You know, it, it well, my legs are the same, you said. No, no, they're also long. You're a big googly arm and leg dude. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you said you're Slender Man. Yeah, I said Slender Man. Fuck. Go make kill... Oh, never mind. Well, I'm wearing clothes now. You gotta get yeah. a specially tailored suit for that shit. <laughs> I... H- the big hit enter, yeah. hit enter, and open the door. All right, <clears throat> sounds good. Uh, you hear the internal mechanism of the door opening. I wonder what that could be for. <laughs> I'm one of you guys. <laughs> wonder what's happening. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Wow. Uh, <laughs> guess I'll leave it open. I'll go through. It hasn't opened yet. It's still oh, okay. working on it. God damn it! It's a big door. It sounds like it sounds like it might be like a security door. So there are other doors behind it that are opening first. Mm. I guess I'll play dead on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> yes. Uh, performance? <laughs> I skill and proficient in. Hey, look at that. <laughs> God damn it. A five? <laughs> I lay down on top of it. <laughs> I got an 11. You lay down on the floor. <laughs> Snoring. <laughs> asleep. <laughs> no, dead. Oh, yeah, dead. <laughs> but I'm getting bored and fall asleep. <laughs> dead asleep. <laughs> well, eventually the doors open up. Uh,. Beauregard and Anthony, you can hear the commotion coming from the doors opening. I run, I run down the hallway. <laughs> Same. <All right. laughs> you guys stumble upon the first technician you met. He's naked, and next to him is uh, this long-limbed, freaky, goat-faced person. Goat faced. <laughs> yeah, by the way, you've got a goat face now. So I'm a Wendigo. You can go ahead and write that down. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I say with all 11 of my mouth. So, I hate you so much. <laughs> like, wow. What the fuck is wrong with you? I didn't touch the guy on the ground. Yay, look at that. I want to see how weird this shit can get. <laughs> goat face slender man. Boop. Goat face <laughs> killer. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start a circus after this. Yeah. All right, uh, Beauregard, you touch the naked, defenseless man on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Make me beautiful. You feel like the, the clothing you're wearing is constraining something. Something that is attached to your arms and torso. Let's hope for another tit. But the one's in the middle. <laughs> so weird. Maybe it's another tit. Can I see it, or it's just concealed? I mean, you can't see it unless you take your shirt off, mm. or you, like, open it up a little bit. Yeah, I was going to open it up and look inside. You got skin flaps. Skin like, flaps. like a flying squirrel. Nice, dude. Awesome! <laughs> dude, don't be a stunt, man. I'm going to do tricks and shit. Have to get my tits off. <laughs> <laughs> my tits off. <laughs> yeah, I mean, right. otherwise you're normal, right? <laughs> Skin flaps yeah. and a titty. So you have like an aura of sexuality about you. Yeah. One skin tit. flaps and one tit. Just take off the tit and you're goddamn set. Does yeah. he have two skin flaps or only yeah. one? Yeah, okay. no. Yeah, that'd be a full set of skin flaps. <laughs> that would be awkward. <laughs> yeah, just go in a circle. Yeah, well, so good. Yeah, God damn it. Man, two eyes, one mouth, uh, two nostrils, two ears, one penis, one breast. <laughs> one, one skin, skin flap? flap? That doesn't seem right. Well, technically, I've got three breasts. It's just one of them's way bigger than the other two. <laughs> They're not. <laughs> yeah, oh, my th- God. We, we are, oh, boy. I t- see no <laughs> downside to this. <laughs> I've touched one guy, and I have a goat face and slender man. And this Which guy's is- got super strength, and he can fly. <laughs> Fuck you guys. <laughs> Touching everything in sight. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. T- touching you, touching me. 
Oh my lord. Fuck it, I'm a monster. Let's do this. <laughs> so you guys have touch, been... touch, 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 touch. <laughs> You wait long enough and the door it's, it door opens. Yeah, I touch the guy three times and rub the doors <laughs> open. And I like to think the <laughs> goat man just instantly like uh, that that squirrel that looks at you intensely is what <laughs> <laughs> dramatic chipmunk. Yeah, chi- thank you, dramatic chipmunk. But it's Goatman McGee. Well, like I was or he's peeking a through goat. my peeking through my one of my eyes. Hold on, does he have goat eyes now? Where? Yep, oh. it's all black. And they're like no, the, si- the weird sideways. They're thing? sideways pupils. Yeah, they're sure. side. They're, I think right. that's sheep. I don't know. I think it's sheep. Google. They've it. got the weird looking eyes though, like yeah. the little barbells. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, it's sheep. It's goats. Continue. Too, I'll, I'll just Google it. All right. So as the door opens, you hear the klaxon going off even louder. Terrible. And nice. you hear a voice over some kind of loudspeaker. Warning. Warning. Test subjects 3, 5, A have escaped. Security forces to the sub level. Warning. 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 Test safe. It just repeats. Sure. Well, there's going to be security. We're going to need more superpowers. We don't know that they're superpowers yet. <laughs> he can fly. <laughs> they're all cancer. <laughs> it's all just cancer. So if we touch each other, does anything happen? I don't I know. Touch, I touch no! Anthony. No! <laughs> I boop him in the nose. No! Nothing happens. Yeah, all right. Thank God. Thank God. What if we're all holding hands and we touch that guy on the ground? Do you want to hold my hands? <laughs> <laughs> you can no. do that. I kind of want to eat them. <laughs> they all have tongues and everything. Gross. My constant sweaty hands. I uh, <laughs> put my hands on my ball sack and then I extend my hand towards Anthony. It's still not okay. It's, yeah, no. Yeah, hold my hand, bro. No, no I'm, I'm, oh, a, no, you yeah, I'm a monster. No. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, you're, nah, you're, nah. Like, you're, you're too. You're Fine. like six feet I, away from him and still <laughs> handing it in front of his face. <laughs> <laughs> arms like fucking taffy. <laughs> <laughs> I grab him and I touch the guy on the ground. Does it count as both of us? I don't know if it's electricity that goes <laughs> through everybody. We'll find out. Uh, bing. <laughs> yeah. As soon as you touch him, uh, Rich, uh, Anthony, nothing happens to you. Cool. Bing. Lame. I have a can for a chest. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It's good. Uh, yeah. As you touch him and, and pull your arm back, you, yeah. you realize that all the joints... <laughs> in your body can just go in every direction. That's the best. I'm bald. It's <laughs> called elastic <laughs> limbs. Mm-hmm. And you get, whoo, you gain six dexterity. Nice. What? I you touch up. it. I touch the guy. Nice. No, no, we can't spend the whole. <laughs> touching the, him. We can't keep touching everybody. Just, uh, we got to prep for the security. Well, there's going to be a, a lot of time to prep, guys. Okay. It's just one for the road. <laughs> you sound like an attic. <laughs> I've never had superpowers. How many before. times have you touched this guy now? A total? The same guy? This the same guy I've touched mm-hmm. him twice. Like four. No, no, no. It's you like touched four. him twice in the room before. It's a different guy. No, this it isn't. Is a, this is the original. This is the original technician. technician. Oh. Yeah. Then um Because you touched him once, something happened, then you like, grabbed him and licked him. Four? That was a different guy I grabbed and licked. Four times? I think four because okay. you touched him twice in the original room. Sexy times. Sexy time? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> And super strength. Super strength. Mm-hmm. So this is three times. Well, this is the third. This is the and third. that was my third time, too. Yeah. Okay. So you touch him again? Yeah. Yeah. He, he, does. Does. he yeah. said he did. Said three. If you've touched him three times, nothing happens. God damn it. <laughs> I hope uh, he, that would have been the third time. Mm-hmm. Okay. So do I still get No, him? he's already touched him three times. Okay. This would be after. This would be the fourth. And I touch him again just to confirm... Nothing. After you, after the third, All right. well, I uh, third touch, nothing happens. <laughs> I flip my arms back and do a bridge, and then <laughs> twist my <laughs> joints back and crab walk the fuck out of there, <laughs> like Baldo. <laughs> like Baldo. <laughs> Take your pants off so you look like Baldo. Uh, Anthony, that's a great idea. I think I'll do that because yeah, yeah. I love Soul Calibur. Yeah. I take my pants off. Okay. <laughs> and you Voldo down the <laughs> I hallway. Voldo, I pick a random door because security's coming. Okay. It's scary. In, in the no, 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 in no, the no. next hallway or the fir- the one you're already in? Go down this new hallway. Ones. New I'm hallway. Saying yeah, yeah, we new, go down the hallway. Down, down the, the hallway. hallway. Yeah. All yeah. right. Uh, so it seems that the rooms that were down this hallway have been emptied out uh, in a rush. So some of the doors aren't even closed. 
some like there if you walk past one and it's open the chair is still spinning in a circle when nice. someone jumped out of it and ran out of the room it seems like everyone in this hallway got out as fast as they could i'm just like <clears throat> uh bartender searching for alcohol okay except with like bendy long limbs <laughs> Anything in any drawers, flasks, in coats. <clears throat> Give me an uh, investigation. Fuck you. Things I'm proficient in. <laughs> I got a 10. Nothing in the first room. <sighs> this is bullshit. Got a 9. <laughs> Nothing in the second room. <laughs> <laughs> 14. There's a uh, small bottle of Listerine. I chug it. Okay. This is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Goddamn apocalypse, and there's no liquor? We don't Fuck know. You. Ap- right, hold on. Did you check the pockets of, of that dude's clothes that you stole? I checked my pockets. There's like a there's a pen in, in the, the shirt pocket. I'm looking for like pin codes, because like we're going to have to... I throw the pen at Anthony. I know the fucking pin code. For all the doors. Got it. Uh, 100% of them that have had pin codes so far, I know. All right, that's fine. Fair. I run down the hallway, but staying to one side of the hall, like, keeping okay. myself up against the wall, but running. Right. Perception? Are there cameras? Probably. As you're going down the hallway, you've seen one. Okay. Smash it. You're the one that can reach it. You them. can reach it. I yeah, I'll hold it. <laughs> All right. Spider goat smash. Yeah. Do it. Do it up. Someone give me a new goddamn day. <laughs> yeah, three. Yeah, this one sucks, too. You, you miss with a three. I, I look at it real hard. I'm not used to my real long arms yet. I got a 13. You hit it. Now electrocute you. Roll damage. Two. You Plus your string. All right. <laughs> you break it. It's broken. <clears throat> it's broken. Good. I keep running. As yeah, fast no, as I can. I'm going to keep okay. going as, until I can't go no more. Okay. I'm going to saunter with my really long legs at okay. the pace that they're running. Sounds good. Uh, the hallway begins to bend to the right. And uh, you reach what seems to be some kind of security checkpoint with another key padded door. Um, as the the wall, the hallway turns, I kind of stay the same orientation. So I'm like Michael Jackson <laughs> bent <laughs> and walk up to the keypad and type in 43927 enter. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it takes a second and it seems the code works. Sweet. I don't let them see what it was. Okay. Fuckers. Well, it's fine, Bing. I mean, at least you're right. I'm wrong. I can admit that. I'm big enough of a frogman to know when I've uh, messed up. What do you mean, frogman? When I swallow. Ah, I just, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's kind of cool. It doesn't do anything else. I mean, Bing, yeah. I didn't doubt your... Now that is no Now is my Satan goat face. <laughs> <laughs> I am your god now. Is there, <laughs> man, I, want, I am your goat metal, now. Start a metal band. You'll be the most. Yeah. I'll be popular. a great drummer, spider drummer. <laughs> terrifying. <laughs> um, I. While we're waiting for the door to open, I'm gonna check the rooms near us. Okay. For people hiding, alcohol. Uh, Twelve. The first room doesn't seem that there's anything in there that you would be interested in. Twelve. Hey, same as the last room. <laughs> no Listerine. No Listerine. <clears throat> Crit twenty. You find the Listerine storage room. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's ethanol. Just not the good kind. You can drunk get drunk off Listerine. I've done it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a Sames. fine toner. It's. I mean, it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> but throwing up ain't bad. <laughs> Still minty fresh. Yeah. Oh, so fresh. So I don't have to brush my teeth yeah. now. Burn drunk. Burn so much. It's better than drinking isopropyl alcohol <clears throat> from the Walmart <laughs> first aid aisle. <laughs> in the in the first aid aisle? Just, just standing there. Yeah. Chilling. <laughs> Are they going to stop me? They don't get paid anything. <laughs> <laughs> Come at me, sir. What are you doing? <laughs> Turning around and minding my own fucking business. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so <laughs> eventually the doors open, and the hallway is dark. Hold on. Do my frog eyes see? No. In the dark? You no. said he got dark vision. No. no. He got dark vision. No. He didn't, no one has dark vision. Oh, it was a pick between yeah, the dark yeah. vision. I gave oh, you okay. the single tit yeah. versus That's the right. eyes. Uh, you could have been awesome, Dennis. I know. He could have been useless in, in, in regular light. <laughs> Uh, 
Um, I throw my pen from my lapel into the dark hallway. Pretty far though. Yeah, I mean, do a, do a throw and attack, I guess. Six. Is this my shitty die? Yeah. Fuck that. <laughs> As he's doing that, I'm gonna. I got an eleven. You cast it into the room mm-hmm. and it hits something. It falls to the ground. What does it sound like? What, like, what is the? Is it like a soft hit? Is soft hit. Metal. Oh, so soft. clothing. Fleshy. Clothing or flesh. And as you do that, Anthony, are you doing something? No. Okay, as you as you throw the pen and hit something, uh, lights turn on in the room, but they're facing at you. Sort of like spotlights, mm. some flashlights, and some laser sights. Roughly how? Halt! Okay. How far away? Eh, probably about 15 feet. Mm. Damn it. All right, so um, as, as the door opens and you throw the pen, you hit something. And it seems like spotlights, flashlights, and laser sights are being trained on each of you from the dark room. Uh, it's coming from security guards. And that's where we're going to call it. Uh, Thank you for listening, and we'll be back in the future. To next week. You can follow us on Facebook, (laughs) Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and Spotify at Botch Podcast. Thanks to the people who support us over at patreon.com slash botch podcast. Like our newest patron, Jared, thanks for upping your pledge. Ciao, Red. If you have time, please head on over to iTunes and leave us a five-star review. Like our newest reviewer. Great podcast, five stars by The Zealous, December 5th, 2018. That was the past. This is one of many podcasts I listen to at work and hate that I have to wait for new episodes. I love binge listening this and busted out in laughter at work multiple times, spraying my desk with water. Keep up the good work and kill the hill dwarf, please. Ha ha, exclamation mark. Exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. Well, he did die because we're pretty <clears throat> backlogged on these, so. Stay hydrated, Your bro. wish <laughs> has come true, the zealous. Thank you to the lunatics who are our botched overlords, like Big Jim, the Black Gary, the Nuck. Also, we have some new ones in there. Ooh, yeah. Which he I'm... joined Discord recently. Messenger group. Josh Digden. And Zukari. Those are all our new overlords, which uh, I'm appreciated for. Which one's the one I like? All of them. Wink. <laughs> uh, <laughs> thank you to <laughs> thank you to Gozer for our new intro and outro music. You can also follow all of us on Twitch now. We Twitch stream um, not only on the botch page, but Tristan. Individually. Tristan, you are Comrade Kale. Austin, I'm a Chili Dog Five, and I am Imaginary Nomad. So uh, as always. When you find out touching people gives you superpowers, touch everything! And scream botched, and we'll hear you. And touch you. (laughs) See you next week, nerds. Well, I was tonguing it. The beers that fly over it go near. <laughs> they do beers have fingers that can then turn knobs? I don't know. Yeah, you, you don't know how it? the fucking Did knobs turn. Things what is a beer? Move? When has a beer ever hit the soundboard? Ooh, no, I feel like Ooh. people let, let, alone, no, let alone Ooh, hit I know it. The answer to that one. But shut up. Never. Let alone <laughs> hit it and then also be able to turn not one, not not all of them, but a single knob. <laughs>